And for my last point, I want to think a little bit about the impact our code as a whole has on the world and what we as communities of programmers um, should consider. And I think there are two issues that we overall as a software development community need to pay a great deal of attention to in our impact on the world as a whole. The first of these is around the whole issue of privacy and making sure the internet remains a free area to collaborate. We've all seen the rules. Thank you. We've all seen the news about mass surveillance and things of that kind. I think we have a particularly important role in fighting back against that. Um, many of my colleagues are looking at um, ways to try and deal with this. How do we reduce the centralization of things? How do we increase the use of encryption? At the moment, to send encrypted emails is a right pain in the backside. Well, we as software developers ought to fix that problem and make sure that encrypted email sending becomes normal for everybody and make it easier to decentralize the process so that people who are looking to do mass surveillance can't just go to one spot, they have to go to many spots. By making it harder to do mass surveillance, we're able to reduce um, the load it takes upon us. And we have to be participating in that. We can do it by writing software, and we can do it by explaining how it matters to other people. I think a lot of people underestimate um, the degree of what goes on with internet surveillance and the impact it can have on the world. We have to take a role to do something about that, and we have to make our voices known. Um, I just want to mention that next week, um, February the 11th, there's a big internet-oriented um, protest thing um, being organized um, called The Day We Fight Back. Um, I've got some information on it on my homepage. If you take a look there, it's being sponsored by organizations like the Electronic Free uh, Freedom Foundation um, and various other organizations, including um, Fort Works, are taking part. Um, it's focused a great deal upon the United States. Um, because obviously of the, all the stuff going on with the NSA there. But everybody in the world can make an impact by making, that, making a noise and really making things shout. A lot of people said we couldn't affect political decisions, and particularly in the United States. Um, but a year ago, the protests around SOPA and PIPA showed that they were wrong, where a dead certain piece of nasty legislation was overturned um, almost overnight. Um, and we need to speak out and use our power effectively to make um, the world better. And the, last, the second thing is I think we have a responsibility to do something about the alienating atmosphere that hangs over many people, particularly those um, historically discriminated against groups in the software profession and in the wider world. Um, I suspect many of you have seen many of the really nasty things that have happened to women who have spoken out um, over the last few year, uh, year or so. It's not difficult to find all sorts of ugly incidents, both within the software world and beyond the software world. And we have to figure out how to get rid of that. That's not the world I want to live in, where people are dis dissuaded from taking part, dissuaded from being on the internet because of the actions of various louts and hooligans that I'm, I'm ashamed to consider as human beings. And we have to figure out how to deal with that. We have to figure out how within the software community to make ourselves, to get rid of that alienating atmosphere that exists within us, which is partly just recognizing it that it's there. Um, a lot of people, particularly privileged white guys like me, don't realize it exists. And we have to recognize that and figure out how to deal with it. It also means that in our, when we think about the software and the systems that we build, we have to recognize how to make a place safe for others. I mean, Twitter have had a lot of problems because they have often not taken steps to recognize when um, abuse is occurring across the internet and aren't taking measures enough. And lots of us are in the situations where we're in environments where we can have an influence on this. And I see this as another area where we have to take forward, take a lead, and try and change our society to make it look like a better place. So whether it's within questioning our requirements, getting into conversations and thinking about what we're building, to a more bigger story of engaging with the world. Now I think I'm at a point to think about what a title might be 
um, for this talk. That we aren't and we should not see ourselves as people who are just slinging code and solving technical problems in some kind of isolated bubble. Our code has an enormous impact upon the world outside. We know that. We can just look around. All around us, code is affecting the world. We programmers have to engage that with that world and figure out how to make sure that our code is making the world better and not worse. That is our responsibility. And I certainly hope that many of you will think about this and think about how we can change the world and make it better and how we encourage younger software developers to think of themselves as people who are actively engaged in the world and not um, just slinging code um, for whoever tells them to do things. And on that note, I've way run out of time, so I thank you for your forbearance. Thank you.